One game, one game is all they want to go in and then see, hey, game number four, one victory, and we have won ourselves over five million dollars. That's how close they are, Lumi. I think Vici Gaming is going to be the team that's pressing for the advantage. They are building a siege lineup. This is not your rising. This is a paleo diet draft, if I call it. No rice, just push for towers. And, you know, when you have a draft like this, the early five, ten minutes is the most important time. So look towards FY, look towards Finrear to make those skanks and rotations. Mm. And they're going to need to as well. When you're running a Chen, it's almost crazy that uh, Newbie would still pick up a Chen. Knowing good Ancient Apparition on the lineup here for VG Gaming, the second you see that here, you know, it's a free ticket to walk through the enemy jungle. Chilling Touch will always give you the bonus advantage. Not to mention you have ROTK uh, and FY, two great heroes with the Venomancer as, as well as the Rubik for early level one fights. So they're going to be controlling up the entire jungle here of Newbie. And I wouldn't be surprised if they even just leave the aggro try lane down there. Uh, very, very smart though from Newbie. They left one Observer Ward just sitting up here on the hill so they know where VG Gaming are moving so they'll know the lanes before VG Gaming actually display them properly in the lanes. But it's pretty obvious what they're going to do. ROTK, actually they're not. They're actually switching it. They're putting Super in the middle lane and they're going to run ROTK up on the top lane after they've already warded out at least two of the camps from Chen inside of his own jungle. The battle yeah, begins. if you look over at Silo, he's got that boots of speed and that should be a giveaway in terms of how the laning stage goes. Silar now on the off lane. And like you said, ROTK on the top. And looks like I do believe um, both the wards were scouted out by Newbie. They definitely scout out this particular one. Immediately D ward here by Sanction. Yep. I don't think they scouted out the bottom one though. But they don't really care about the jungle being blocked off because Shaolin really not going to pull for himself. And the supports, well, it's going to annoy Banana a little bit, I say. Yeah, it's. It's basically taking away a lot of the stuff, and the, and the Illusion Rune is also not helping out. Yeah. The fact that Rubik was able to get that, so he's had to block up an extra camp here at the 32nd mark. Uh, unfortunately, for, actually, no, the, the, the Illusion actually, will survive until the one minute mark. The entire well. jungle for Banana is blocked off. It's not just a little bit of noise. Where is he going to get his first creep? He has one Centaur. He has one Centaur, which is next to, the, uh, next to the Rune area. A lucky spawn. It could have been like a Mud Golem, and he's done mm. in the early stage of game at the very least. One thing though I'm not really feeling coming out from the VG Gaming lineup is Control. And it's Control going up against a Weaver. This, this is a guy where if Hal if it gets like a, an, an okay start, you, you're good to go because there's, there's no stuns. There's, there's what, telekinesis and you need Orchid and then there's nothing left. Yeah, if he gets a Lincoln Sphere, he's good to go. I mean, I agree with you. I think if they really value that Orchid, for example, they would have Silar on the safe lane. That's where he generally farms it. So it's really up to FY to get that Telekinesis lift. He, he's going to need the assistance of a Blink Dagger, for example. We do have to keep in mind that Super, I mean, if he's good with that Slide of Fist and Searing Chain combo, he can initiate from afar. Mm -hmm. um, especially that Chain is actually really good against Puck. When you're Searing Chain, you cannot face shift. So that will allow Vici to combo into other, uh, you know, follow-up initiation and whatnot. But a lot of work on the shoulder of Super as well as FY. Interesting to see ROTK's build as well. We've got one point up in, no in uh, Poison in the Venomous Gale and uh, one point up in the Poison Sting. So with one point in either of these, we're not looking at any massive wall of wards. And what you get is... Not yet. It's slow up against a hero who has Shikuchi. So it doesn't really have that much of an effect. If it's Sun Cheng, it's fantastic because the base movement speed of 335, well, it's not base because he's got boots on him. Uh, but if you can slow him down, then you get a lot of potential for, for an easy kill, an easy first blood. And then extra money, you get a mech up early, and that means tier one towers go down the top lane. But you still need to have those high level of wards, which Newbie can't repel, or he comes down to defend when the Chen is ready to push out. I think on paper, the Gale isn't really good against Sakuchi because, you know, obviously he moves at maximum movement speed. But you got to keep in mind that the early levels of Sakuchi, you know, it has a fairly long cooldown. It doesn't last nearly as long. So if you could catch out how after he has to use Sakuchi with the Gale on top, chances are he, he is going to die. But how, you know, he, he knows about this. Bottom lane. This could be the death of Sila right now. Sunsheng with the end of the Invis rune starts off with the Shackle. Follow up concoction. He's got Acid Spray leveled up as well, but didn't actually get it off in time, but it doesn't matter. Sila, the whole time is too high of range. He tried to sprout himself up and then TP out, but it's not possible. A newbie will claim first blood here on the bottom lane. This is not what VG Gaming needed to have happen if they were going to get any kind of early momentum. And they're going to go for top lane too. 
How? And Shuji Sentry Ward, they got him. Gale. Lift him up. Where is the scale? It will connect, and they got him slowed down. Prop the Tyler will TP in. Instant rebuttal kill coming out from VG Gaming. That's why you get the Gale. Sakuchi at the early game, once you disrupt it, he is straight up dead. Great rotation here coming out from the VG supports. And let's see if they can actually strike. Oh, him. super middle lane move. He got the Syrian chain space shift out. Where's your attack? One, One more. Hit. Super is gonna, gonna die. Run. Over committal there by Super. He needed one more attack to kill off Moo, but Banana was coming in. He was there for Mana Burn as well, having that little set of Mind Stealer on the sidelines. And that's actually following the Ember all the way up the lane. That rotation from uh, Banana to secure the kill Dyer's was absolutely huge. Anytime that you get attack. a single kill advantage on the mid lane and get a huge swing in experience, that's absolutely huge and winning the lane continuously throughout much of the mid and later stage of the game. But for now, it looks like we're going to have a little bit of trouble up top here as a newbie sustaining a little bit of push. Hilarious thing is, the third level last spray stops the push in its tracks. Yeah. Everyone is backed up. They know the tree army can't stand alive in that one. And the, mass, uh, the plague wards are at least nice. You can set them up, but they're not high enough level yet. There's only level two plague wards and easily dealt with by Zhao Wei. So he can hold this top lane pretty much by himself. While on bottom lane, how again, he's searching for another pick off. Siler is down here. He can afford phase boost, but doesn't have them. So he's got no extra movement speed. He'll need TP support if he's going to survive this. Sunshang's on the front lines. She doesn't have a point up in Hex, but he's got oh. it in Shackle and how Well, oh. he's underneath the tower. Very visible, obviously, doing this. And Siler will just back himself out. Yeah, they need a Shangshan to be there. And uh, tower is actually doing a lot more damage to how than what he actually did to the Prophet. But there you go, back in the mid lane here. Looks like we're going to see yet another go. Mu is locked up a little bit, but he'll orb back out. Th this is just harassment off the lane. Yeah, despite the death, it, actually Super is able to kind of bully Mu around a little bit. But obviously Mu is enjoying quite a bit of gold lead here. Nice, nice wall being placed down by Mu too. It's looking over the, over the river so we can see what's on the high ground, especially looking for someone like FY. Because if FY comes in and is able to get a follow-up telekinesis after the initial searing chains, that may just be enough time for Super to finish the job. Yeah, Vici right now is playing a fairly defensive game, but they gotta quite be worried because Newbie is up a thousand gold, really without any tower advantage, and that's really coming down to the better farming of the supports and you know the kills are happening their way. So I think what both team again, I've said it at the end of the last game, is all about the rotation, all about the early game. The support that does better for the team will win the game. We'll see if the support rotation is going to come through. So we're going to smoke on the mid lane. Yeah, they're going to loop themselves around. They've actually got to go all the way around up through the, uh, basically up through this little region here. But well, Super's about to hit level six. Once he does, he could have a fire remnant. They've gone the opposite direction. They're okay. going all the way up to top lane. So they're going to look for Fenrir or for ROTK. It could be even a double kill. Both of these heroes are quite squishy. They don't have a good escape mechanism. Here we go. It's going to be a flank on the side, and Fenrir, well, he's going to get hit by a truck. RTK is taking a lot of damage here inside the Asus spray. He knows he can't help out Fenrir here. Maybe he can look for a like, can't even denial. Gale will fly out, but well, Chen's already got the kill. Ancient Apparition starting on TV, but RTK, kill. it's a lot of oh. damage, and now RTK, he's alive on 26 life points, and Banana's actually going to be the sacrificial lamb. Super came in, no sign of fits. Yeah, Chen actually follow up, and well, there's the chain. Sunshine will just burn from the immolation of Super, and he wants to go further. Remember. This is a DD over on Super, but Moo has now arrived in the fight. Dream Goal over on him, holding Super in position. There's nothing he's got left. He'll go down on this top lane. And maybe is there collateral? ROTK is backing himself up. Oh, how? Zhao Wei preps the stun, running into the tower. ROTK juking in the tree line. They got the vision, so he'll die in the tree line. How? Not enough mana actually to go for a time lapse, but there's no one alive for VG Gaming to punish him. Over aggression here by Vici. They had an observer war. In fact, both teams have observer on the mid lane. So you should have seen the rotation from the puck. And that once that coil came down, the Ember Spear was dead. Yep. Earl TK overstays welcome, like you said, and died as a result as well. Again, Vici is playing that some sort of oh, what a play. Well, I, I that's mean, actually gonna yeah. have huge, like huge rebuttal right now. Because Siler and Sunshang. Sunshang was ready to gank over on Siler. That TP was meant to bring him down to the bottom lane. And ended up getting cancelled, so no kill, and Sancheng has to walk himself back out again. Yeah, whenever you're losing kill and you're playing some sort of like pushing or kind of um, just playing a, a strategy re that revolving around uh, sieging towers for a long time, level is going to be key. In fact, playing a lot of strategy, level is going to be the key, but <laughs> you, you can't really give away uh, all these kills. Once mech comes up, for example, for newbie, that's where, where your push gets much, much harder, as well as uh, Chen's level 6. and. Uh, Step earlier talked about the interaction between Ice Blast and Chen. I feel like Newbie's going to have a fairly easier time dodging these Ice Blasts, considering the fact that it's mostly Vici that's going to be sieging. Smoke's broken. Plague Walk right around the corner. It's going to slow Chen down a little bit, but not enough. So they'll just pick up the Satter instead. So a fell smoke gate coming out from FY and ROTK. Well, well, how? 
Uh, Shikuchi's rather Radiant's close to him, middle tower is under but they're backing up. There's three euros in the bottom lane, and Super is also rotating down. He sees a regeneration rune, which Moo's going to go for. There's no slight of fist, so Super house right on top of him. Dream God's going to be committed. He's got one spirit, so he jumps away and in. Back towards his own tower, while the bottom lane, TP Sports coming in. That's the Alchemist, the front line. Look for the start. Actually, he started with the shot, with the Yards uh, concoction. So he hits on a very hard at spray there. Pick up the Sunshine, dragging him back in as he's oh. stunning over towards Xiao Wei. With the shackles, though, hold on silent. The bugs are in. He gets one last ultimate off, trying to help out his teammate. RTK, how will dive under the tier one tower to get the kill. And Sunshine safely TPs out. Newbie, a two for zero. This is a very, very, very bad sign for Vichy Gaming. Normally when ROTK has a successful game on Venomancer, he's on that top lane to like level 8 or 9. You want to have a lot of sp spells max. You want to be high level. And more importantly, you need those core Radiant's items. You need a mech. You attack. ideally want Aghanim Scepters, uh, you know, as you're, you're pushing Gaia's multiple towers. Tower so far attack. he's got nothing. And he really doesn't add much to his team as an underfarm Venomancer. Ice Blast looks like he's going to fly to the bottom lane, but won't really hit too much of anything. Yeah, they're trying to keep him out, and if possible, they would have gone for a slider fist here in chains. But not gonna happen. Moo as well as Sunshine forcing out Dyer's middle lane, so Moo gets a little bit of a chill, but Sunshine already level six Dyer's commits to play wall, uh, the master of Mords towards that tier one tower, and Super Radiant's knows he can't come in close on this, not attack. without help. But they're looking for a trade off, which is gonna be stopped by Xiao Wei, come towards the top lane with the acid spray, the plague wards from ROTK, they're gonna maybe try and keep this push going. Super, Nam, these, these, these master of Mords are trying to be farmed up by Fenrir, but it's taking too much. Super's bottling up, he's still got a slide of fist available, and now he's gonna jump through just a little bit of one of the so the Centaur goes down, but the mid tier 1 tower Dyer's is for but Vichy Gaming. Has fallen. Newbies are taking what Vichy's good at and sending it right back at them. You know, every tower, tower right now, Newbie attack. is defended and defended well. And Newbie is, uh, you know, pushing for towers. And once that Master Ball comes off cooldown again, it will not surprise me at all. Oh, they're going again on bottom lane. Hal being picked up by FY, throwing back. He doesn't FY's have level dead. 6, so he can't steal the Shikuchi. And you're right, with a bug in the back of him. Oh, well, and the Spirit. <laughs> uh, almost a bit of an intimidation factor there. If he wanted his ruby, he could have to go through the Ember. You know, I'm looking at the mid game for Vichy Gaming. Should they not... Let, let's suppose that they don't get like 5-6 towers in the next 5-10 minutes, and I don't think they can. Okay. What is their mid game plan? You have a very under farm Ember Spirit, because, you know, he's only 2-2, two and two, he hasn't hit too many creep kills. And then you have Silar, he's played on the offlane, so he won't have an Orchid anytime soon. They really can't gank that well. They can't really play a farming game because I don't think they could defend their towers against the push of Newbie. It feels like there is no option B for Vichy if they don't start knocking down some towers. I'm, I will agree with you on that one. It's, it's one of these things where VG Gaming, they're running against the clock. They went for a high risk, high reward strategy. And because of that, they need to be able to actually claim things with their lineup, which is why you see Dying again Silent and ROTK try and force out this top tier one tower. Fortification still available here for Newbie, so they could actually stop it. VG Gaming do not have fortification, so how can just force out the tier one tower in the bottom lane? And again, Xiao Wei has sprays on cooldown, but he's still just one man is enough to force back a pushing power from VG Gaming. Yeah, and that one man's level nine, by the way. And if you look at the level disparity again. It is so huge between the two teams. Newbie right now enjoying a lot of a big lead. I think this tower might actually get denied up top. Ooh. Tier 1, meanwhile, on the bottom gets destroyed. FY attempted a denial on that one. The Plague Wards have to be timed Shall right we? now for Mara TK. Gotta be careful of the backstab though. Here comes a couple of TP towers. Gonna get last in a great play here from Silar. Oh, but he's gonna pay for the slide of silence. Or that's one kill. But here comes the backstab support. Super He's looking for the chain. Ice Black on the crap. What oh, oh, a okay. combo. Shall we? Dead. Yep. Are they gonna make it out alive there? He never even got the sun up. Who has to use the Dream Call? Oh. Fenrir precision, but now a wonderful face shift. The face of damage to Super, and Hal returns the fight, puts the bugs on Fenrir, which means he's going to pick up the support hero. While Super, another searing chain, he'll TP himself out. There's no stuns available, so he's away to safety. Super with fra with face was picked up. But VG Gaming, they keep having bad trades. Tier 2 Tower was lost in the bottom lane because again, Shadow of Shaman and these master seven wards from Sunshine bring down the Tier 2 Tower. DG Gaming are losing out on every single decision they're making across the map right now. Yeah, and that decision is going to really snowball. Look over how he's got Hand of Midas flying out on the courier tomb. Normally, as a Weaver, you should be afraid of the single target initiation like a Telekinesis or maybe a Ventral Orchid coming out from Silar. He is confident that he can get to that Lincoln uh, and, and could make a pick stop with the Midas. That Midas is going to really shoot him to level 16 very quickly. Add to his Move. take. Be very, very careful what you're doing right now. He actually Fine. phase shifts out. And blinks himself back towards his tier one and tower. And has a regen rune. <laughs> has a regen rune. 
Yubi's oh. playing confident. It would not surprise me if they take a 2-1 lead after this particular game because everything is completely under their control. It doesn't seem like Newbie has the initiation power or the late game power to really tackle Newbie. So what is the game plan? Mr. RTK. It's a question which I don't think he'll answer. Not until after the game, at least. But they've got, they're have got they going to answer actually during the game. Sunshine's almost going to blink dagger. You talk about initiation. The Shadow Shaman's going to cause so many problems for VG Gaming. How is is staring down ROTK now. FY is also here. But just a quick time lapse out by Hal. He's just trying to cause some chip damage onto ROTK. Force him back. ROTK still hasn't managed to finish up this full mech. Okay, this his, is how his they're net worth is pathetic right now in VG comparison Gaming, to others. VG Gaming is about thinking about stealing Roche. Finra just Roche picked young? up. Yeah, they, they just picked up a medallion of courage. This is not item you they're normally coming for buy. kills, man. They found Super Sunshine. Searing chained up, Mu will blink up, but it's not going to happen in the Ice Blast. He's going to connect on Mu as well as Banana while Sanjing being picked up, thrown back. He is chilled up, the Shackles is nice, but Ember Spirit coming in hard, and that's going to be Super picking himself up a double kill, but Xiao Wei also looking to get the same as Mu. Hunt, who got oh. the kill with Sylar, gets a double sprout with the Searing Chain trying to control him there. There's a jump away by Mu, he'll actually orb himself and join himself in Sylar. Needs to hit up the hill right now, Bottle Charge, he misses up the hill, into the trees, and he's actually away, blinks over! And she gets the kill, Mu! with a triple kill, looking for an ultra, Super Need to get needs out of to there. the spirit, there's your attack, Super, not enough damage, 19 life points, one charge of TP one out, where one is more. the flank, the attack no. from Jen, just had a blast through the tree line. Another unsuccessful team fight where Newbie came out so ahead, and I think the key items are starting to get out of control, once Xiao8 finishes that mech, how, how do you win another team fight against Newbie? And that was a fight that Howdy even joined, he's one of those carries, again, joins all the fights, he just farmed away. It essentially was like a 3v4, and yeah. Newbie still came out ahead. Man, that was that was brilliant, the fact that Newbie was, Newbie was able to survive that long. And the puck, like picking up that many kills, it's allowed a move to afford up a full Yule Scepter 15 minutes into the Dyer's game, top on top of his blink treads, as well as Bottle. Great way to get out of trouble, man. Yep. And the mana region is actually a big part in terms of uh, extending your farm in the mid game. It looks like we're going to see Vici trying to steal that Roshan. Yeah, but huge. look at the centaur coming in from Chen. Oh. It's going to reveal the entire top. thing right now. So they realize what's going on. They could only take it as a surprise because Newbie's got the superior. And why? Don't come out that far. He's coming down for the haste room. Oh, he's got it. He'll be able to swipe it out at least. But he was very, very Dyer's close to Xiao Wei. He could have prepped a concoction if he wanted to. Yeah, meanwhile, as uh, you know, Newbie's delaying this Roshan top lane, it's going to be Weaver taking tier one. It looks like he's going to start pressuring mid and joining that Roshan fight, should he needs to be there. Very smart there from FY. A tornado was started up by the Wild Wing. So he just came in and telekinesed it out. Now, VG Gaming have started this, they've got to finish this. I feel like as they get it low, that's where Puck's going to join in. And Xiao Wei is going to come in too. As this break, it just cover over the entire VG Gaming line. But look where he puts it. It's in the river and not on top of Roshan. He doesn't want to help VG Gaming finish Roshan. All he wants to do is make sure they find outside. Oh, RTK! They used the smoke, but he was he was in vision. He came down the river and he was in vision of, of, uh, of Nubi. And now, FY, Sentry Ward, he's too far away from Hal. And in comes Concoction. Maybe Xiao Wei throws it over. He's looking at Fenrir, taking away this Ice Blast. The only slide of fist. Couldn't get the proper Searing Chain over to Xiao Wei. So there's no extra control. Meanwhile, RTK is still smoked up. He's looking for a backstab. You know, these streams are constantly scouting Roche. I can't tell who's actually gonna get this Roche. Again, Link Dagger initiation coming out. Or TK's gonna get caught! Nah, he's getting blocked up by his own tree and switch are coming out from his teammate. And then just completely scanning out all of what Nubi is doing too. This Roshan is almost something which VG Gaming all but hunting commit mass up for. It actually takes the choke point and what a blink in by Mu! The double silence all as well! The a is gonna cause a lot of trouble for Hal! But he's out of time left now the damage! He's okay! Double buyback will come up from VG Gaming. Nice mass up more steel coming out from the Rubik. But Nubi trying to board it out of Roshan. Killed by the Radium, picked up by the Weaver. It's a disaster for VG Gaming right now. GG. And GG, they know it. Roshan was the last roll of the dice of VG Gaming. And Newbie will take a one game advantage here in the best of five grand final. And they are one victory away from taking first place here in the International Four. That wasn't a quick GG at all. VG Gaming lost every single lane. That was the last gone, but they even bought a Medallion Courage on the Ancient Apparition to go for it. Miss a play, and that was the game. Yep, but they knew they knew the risk they were taking. You make a draft like that, it had to pay off, and it did.